Tag team action here as the hour continues. Prince Nana has joined us. We got a lot to talk about, but let's go to Bobby Cruz. This tag team action is set for one ball. Team number one, and a combined weight of 543 pounds. The team of the Beer City Loser, and professional wrestling class real man, Cyrus Young. Nigel, it was a week ago where the Beer City Bruiser and Silas Young attacked Dalton Castle and the boys from behind. Yeah, beat the boys up pretty badly. I don't know if we'll be seeing them again in Ring of Honor anytime soon. I don't know. Silas said he would give the boys one more chance. What? Whoa, this what the heck is that? That cigar is so gross. That is disgusting. Don't ever smoke, Prince Donna. I will never. And a combined weight of 419 pounds, the team of Will Ferreira and Caprice Coleman. <laughs> what have you done, my friend? What do you mean, what have I done? <laughs> I have smartened these guys up. They have gotten a letter of their law, and they are following it. Kevin Kelly, God bless me. Well, they certainly are. When last we saw Coleman, Ferrara, they were far from a team. In fact, they settled their differences in a no disqualification battle that shook the 2300 arena in yeah, Philadelphia. It sure did, it sure did, my friend. But now, can these two coexist as a team? I mean, are there any bitter feelings over what happened? I feel absolutely good. Both these men know that they have to reach a pinnacle. A pinnacle in this spot. And that's what they're going to do here together as a team. So what was in those uh, envelopes that you gave them? Hey, that's for me to know and for you to find out, my that's friend. That's why I asked you, pal. Right. And obviously you handed Shut envelopes up, with some words of wisdom, some motivational perhaps, to both Caprice and to Will Ferrara, but you also gave one to Donovan Dijak. Of course I gave one to Dijak. Have you heard the rumor that Donovan Dijak is now a free agent? He was fired. You know, is Truth Martini dumb? Is he some sort of an idiot? I mean, I've done business with him in the past, but to see him let a giant, a physical specimen such as Dijak go, he has to be out of his mind. And, uh, well, of course, now with Dijak competing very successfully in Europe, it's Coleman back Silas up with the right hand, and now a slugfest in suit. Let me ask you this. I mean... There you go, Caprice. <laughs> what about Dijak? I mean, is there a future between you and he? Are you there to pick up the pieces that Trick Martini threw away? Hey, listen. All the pieces of the puzzle are in the letter that I had given to Dijak. Remember that. So any more insight on that? Come on. Hey, he's keeping his cards hey, close I, to his I, chest. I don't know what you want me to tell you, Kevin. Well, obviously, you're, you're a very pointed critic of Truth Martini. Truth Martini made a huge mistake by letting Dijak go. I can tell you that much right now. Watch out, Brian Gorey, because Silas Young is driving Will Ferrar back in. Now. Come on, Will. For all the bluster, I, I think we have that great respect for the talent of Silas Young. Oh, you can't take anything away from the man. He's been wrestling nearly two decades at this point. Shoulders are down. World, and he can get the job done. There you go. <laughs> Look what he did. He rolled straight over to his corner. Will Ferrara, I'm not taking your advice there, didn't follow up. Can't you see the difference? I mean, look at the difference, though, all right? I know you are a former world champion, Nigel, but look at the difference in the, 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 the eye of the tiger and Will. Two semi-finalists they met last year in the Top Prospect Tournament, and uh, both Bruiser and Will Ferrara have had great 2015s, each now looking for a great new year. Oh, no! That's two mistakes now from Ferrara. No! Trying to pick up the big man. Maybe, maybe if you pen another letter, you know. You know, would... you know I, I, I don't need to really pen anything. The only thing that needs to happen right, right now is he needs to tag in Caprice. 
Deep in the corner, Silas Young now tagged in, and look at what they find. So in the deepest tag team division anywhere in professional wrestling, I don't hear a lot of talk about Silas and the Bruiser as a team, another near fall, but Nigel, I like what I see out of this pairing. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, both these guys have got similar personalities. You know, they don't take any guff from anybody. They're alpha males. Clearly go to the same barber. <laughs> and obviously this one drinks a lot of kids. Well, yes, he does. By the keg. Oh, and out of the way, Ferrara now down the line, a shot for Silas Young. A long there way to you go. go, Will. A long way for Will to make the tag. Come on, come on, come on. Suplex, here we go. Oh. Backdrop driver. Kept hold, beautiful. Moonsault, I thought we were gonna see one from Bruiser. Ow! Oh. That'll Rock, do. Rock splash, and this could do it, should do There you go, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the smart thinking that I'm talking about right there. But a, a, a change in aggressive, aggression levels from both Ferrara and Caprice Coleman. Prince Nana, that envelope seems to do the trick. It's doing a heck of a trick. I mean, last week they wanted to kill each other. This week they're working in unison, and this is what the law, this is what enlightenment is all about, my friend. The age of enlightenment indeed. And uh, Ferrara getting worn out right now by both the Beer City Bruiser. Uh oh, cannonball, but he came come up on, empty. Come on, Ferrara. Oh. There you go! There's Caprice, he's there for the tag! Oh, now we're gonna have some action. Caprice Coleman now knocking down Silas Young. Wow. You see, that's why I gave him one of those envelopes. This is why. I still don't understand your intention, though, Nana. You don't have to understand it, Nigel, all right? As long as they understand it, that's why I'm getting this type of result. Out goes the Beer City Bruiser. And we're seeing results constantly every week. Silas gets the boot up. Coleman, undeterred. No hands. Look at that pin. One, two. Well, wait a second, let's let the referee get in position two and Bruiser there to break it up. We are counting down to the 14th anniversary live on pay-per-view on Friday, February 26th. Las Vegas, Nevada will have an update on the card coming up in just a few moments, and that could be... Good thinking! <laughs> Uh-oh, wait a second! There you go, come on, you can do it, Will, you can do it! I can't believe what I just saw! Believe it, my friend. Seeing is believing. Third time's the charm. Powerbomb from the top. Watch out. Oh, oh man. Caprice was thinking about the sky splitter. Silas knew it. Backbreaker clothesline. What a battle this has been. What an amazing hour what so is far. This? Oh, I just felt a breeze. That's the boys. The boys! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Wait a second! DDT! And now Caprice we Coleman have a on top! Surprise for you! The boys! A surprise for you, We're Silas! Quite the surprise! Silas <laughs> Sky! One, two, and three! In any language, it's a win! <laughs> the winners of the match, the team of Caprice Coleman and Will Ferrara! Kevin, bitch, is what enlightenment is all about. Wouldn't you agree, Nigel? I would have to agree with you then, uh, yes, I would. Now, yeah. certainly the boys may have played a little bit of a role, you know, providing enough distraction to get Will and Caprice the opening to drive through for victory. But a win! What is Prince Nana building here, right before our very eyes? I don't know, I don't know if I trust the man. 